Hi guys, it's J Dog John Karstrom. Hey, I want to tell you about this some latest and the greatest, of course. That's what we do here. And um, now, if you haven't planted tomatoes, or if you are a great uh, tomato connoisseur, or if you are just wanting to know about the latest and greatest in tomatoes, um, I've got something for you, right? It's, and these are grafted tomatoes. And you might have heard that term being floated around. It's really something new that's coming out of Japan, by the way. It's floated across here. Grafting tomatoes. Now, we're taking a wild tomato rootstock, a real, very aggressive rootstock that can pull up nutrients very well and then grafting that on uh, grafting a regular tomato an heirloom type tomato or any of our varieties of tomatoes to that wild rootstock and what we are getting are super tomatoes now what we're boasting these days are that this type of tomato plant can produce four to five times as many tomatoes so a couple of points I want to point out to you because we just, we, uh, our, our grafted tomatoes just arrived. A couple of points on these guys, if you do a grafted tomato, is that instead of planting deep, you are going to plant exactly at root level. What you don't want to do is cover that graft because the tomato will send out its own roots here and we really want it to get all the nutrients from that root stock. So this pin, by the way, will just drop out um, as soon as it gets big enough on here. Don't be alarmed by its small size because that's the other point I want to make is that these guys get big in a hurry. And so what we want to do is get some big tomato cages. We're talking six foot, five foot um, tall tomato cages. Of course, it all depends on the variety. So get yourself a big tomato cage because these guys are going to produce. The last thing I wanted to tell you about was that if you decide to do it in a container, really go big. Those roots are going to hit that bottom with a clang <laughs> and uh, really go to town. So we want a nice big container. 25 gallons minimum size if you're going to do it in a container. But anyway, these guys are going to be a fun one. A bonus on that is if you want to try those heirloom types, oftentimes the downside on the heirlooms is that they just take a long time and sometimes we just don't have that summer. These produce much quicker um, as well. So give these heirloom, uh, give these uh, grafted tomatoes a shot. See what you think. If you, and and I, what we want to do is start getting some feedback on how wonderful or how not wonderful these are. So anyway, guys, that's the show for the day. Always live your passion. See me right